All right, welcome to my day 22 progression guide. So today we got some big stuff coming out. So let's start out with the Road to Strife event. This event is coming out at 11 p.m. So similar to how the Summer Breeze event came out a little early, you can start this Road to Strife event tonight at 11. Then for the big one, the Frig banner is coming out today at 12. So if you've been waiting for Frig, she is finally here. On top of that, especially if you're rolling, I wanted to point out to you that they're refreshing the gift shop. So how we were able to buy those special packs of red nucleus and everything for titanium, you can buy those again. So before you roll, make sure you go to the gift shop. So now that that's out the way, let's go ahead and knock out our daily. So to reach level cap for 54, you need 1.6 million experience. So starting out, you wanna do Mia's Kitchen, your bounties, then, if you have any ruins, you can possibly do those, or save for tomorrow. Next, you could do your story. I didn't see any announcements about Artificial Highlands, so you may not need to rush your story. But, if you need a lot of experience anyway, you might as well go ahead and start completing it. Vitality. For today, we got access to shoulders and a chance at the Shiro Matrix. So again, if you already have these, you might not want to run. I don't recommend that you use your Vitality Solutions. But again, if you're trying to push levels, it's up to you. Next, we have Intercircle Exploration. Make sure you're checking your Stargates to see if you have two or more for level three Stargates. But if you don't have any level three Stargates, you can do Dimensional Trials, but make sure you hit Difficulty 4. Or if you need gold, you can always go to Space Time Domains, but make sure you hit Difficulty 4. For other ways to get experience, you can get Rust and Iron Chest, Password Chest, and Supply Pods. But other than that, check out my Experience Guide if you want some more ways. Then don't forget to do your daily gifts. You want to go to the Black Market and talk to Hopkins. You want to go to Cetus Island and do the Claw Machine. Then you want to do your two ability trainings. Next, you want to maintain your vehicle. So some of the best places is Astra Shelter. The next place would be Bangi Shelter. After that, we got the Black Market. And the best place, High Crows. Also attack any elemental rocks you see for crystals. So now let's talk about the weekly tab. Make sure you're keeping up with this. Now we head over to challenges. Remember you got the Bygone Phantasm. Make sure you're going in there, trying to climb those ranks. Then we got Frontier Clash. Make sure if you have three out of three attempts, you knock this out today because tomorrow we're gonna get an extra attempt and it will be wasted. So I need to definitely do this today. Void Risk, we got another attempt today. So great source of experience. Also don't forget to check and see if this is a first time boss for you. The Wormhole, make sure you knock out the Endless Mode for this week. You have four days to do it. You wanna get that 280 Crystal Dust. And Apex League, today is the last day to climb those ranks. So hopefully you can make it to your desired rank. Then don't forget about your daily buys. So you want to go to shop, hot, and buy your two vitality solutions. This is only if you can afford it. Then we have the commissary, starting out with the crystal dust store. So again, remember you want to try to wait to level 56 so that way you can buy those hand guards. But if you got lucky in Frontier Clash, feel free to buy what you want. The crew store, either buy potent omnium crystals or buy relic shards. And the way how you get crew points is make sure you're doing your daily donations and also aiming for those four missions for the week. And then the support store. You want to make sure you're getting your three joint supply chips for the week. And some of the best way to get support points is to do difficulty one, matrix drill. That way you can keep spamming that for 150 points if you're in a party of two. Also, you have frontier clash to where if you complete that, you can get 375 points, but make sure you don't use your attempts. Then you have void rifts. If you help people, you can get 150 support points. And last but not least, we have world bosses to where you can get 100 support points and machine parts, but make sure you force to cipher. Once all that's done, you can go achievement hunting, explore the map, or go mount farming. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If so, check out my day 21 video. But other than that, talk to you guys later.